In stoichiometry, we relate the quantities of the substances that are involved in a chemical reaction. Here we're given with a mixture of sodium chloride and potassium sulfate. Sodium chloride, and this mixture is, uh, into this mixture, lead nitrate are added. So that potassium chloride acting with lead nitrate will form a precipitate, which is lead chloride along with sodium nitrate according to this balanced chemical equation. Meanwhile, the potassium sulfate will react with the same lead nitrate to form the precipitate lead sulfate along with soluble KCl according to this balanced chemical equation also. So from here, we find that for two moles of NaCl, one mole of, or let's say one mole of the precipitate PBCl2 is formed, and that for every one mole of K2SO4, one mole of the PBSO4 precipitate that is also formed. So let us assume x grams of NaCl in the mixture, and that y grams of K2SO4. As given, the mass of the mix, mixture of these two salts is equal to 10 grams. So we say 10, uh, x plus y equals 10. Now let us find the mass of the solid precipitate that is formed from each of these. So we find the mass, let's say grams of PBCl2, that is formed from x grams of AC, uh, NACL. So x grams of NACL, we convert this into moles of NACL by dividing this by the molar mass of NACL, which is 58.5. And from the relationship above, for two moles of NACL, one mole of PBCL, PBCL2 is formed. So we say two moles of NACL will form one mole of PBCL2. And finally, we'll multiply this by the molar mass of PBCL2 in order to find the mass, we have 278.1 grams per mole. So we solve this and we get the mass of PBCL2 in terms of X as equal to 2.377 X. We'll do the same, but this time we're going to solve for the mass of PBCO. PBSO4 formed from Y grams of K2SO4. So divide this by the molar mass of K2SO4, which is 174.3. That means 174.3 grams of K2SO4 is one mole of the K2SO4. Then by the mole ratio, that one mole of K2SO4 will mole, uh, will produce one mole of PBSO4. Finally, we'll multiply this by the molar mass of PBSO4, which is 303.3. We solve this and get 174, or 1.74y. So as given, the mass of the solid is 21.75 so we say uh, uh, 2.377x plus 1.74 y equals 21.75 therefore we have two equations with two unknowns the first one was x plus y equals 10 the second one is the one that we just wrote here we have just written so let's say this is equation one and equation two. We can use substitution elimination method to solve for the x and y. Yes. So from equation two, we can solve for y in terms of x as y equals 10 minus x. And we substitute this into equation one. So that means our y will become 10 minus x. And we can solve for x here. We get 2.377x plus 1.740 times 10. That's 
70.40 minus 1.740x equals 21.75. And then we subtract both sides by 17.4. We get then 21.75 minus 17.4. Um, that's equal to 4.35. And then we do 2.377 minus, minus 1.74, giving us 0 0.5. 637 and we divide both sides of the equation by uh, 0. 0.637 and for that and, and for that we get x to be equal to 6.83 it follows that your y will be 10 minus 6.83 which is 3.17 so this means that the mass of NaCl is 6.83 grams and the mass of K2SO4 is equal to 3.17 grams. So since we're looking for the mass percent of NaCl, so we have then 6.83, that's the mass of NaCl divided by the mass of the mixture which is 10 and multiply by 100 since we want this in express in percent. So we then get 68.3%. So I hope everything is clear.